Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Content Aware Fill feature in Photoshop to expand the background of an image. Let's get started. I want to make this image wider. So what I'll do is go up to Image, Canvas Size, make sure that Relative is unchecked. I see that the width is 7,166 pixels. I'll change that to 8,500. Click OK. Now you can see that the canvas size is expanded, but I want to fill that in with pieces of the background here and make it look seamless. Select the rectangular marquee tool. Then I'll select the part of the image that's blank. I'll right click and select content aware fill. You'll see a menu here where you can make some customizations. I think I like how it filled, so I'll click OK. Now I'll do that to the other side. You just want to make sure that the background copy layer, if you created a new layer, is not selected. Select background. Now I'll highlight this other side, right click, content aware fill, and you'll see it's done. So Photoshop did a pretty good job of filling in the background very easily. I'll flatten the image. You can also use content aware fill to replace objects in the background. I don't usually do this on portrait photos. I use other methods such as the healing brush, but just in case I'll show you, we can highlight this part of the background, right click, content aware fill, and you'll see it fills it in. It does a good job of removing that object from the background. However, I can select the healing brush here and do the same thing very quickly. If there's a more complex object that you want to remove, I'd recommend using clone stamp and making selections. I'll cover that in another video. Let's go to a different image. So this image has a little bit more complex background. Let's see if content aware fill works here. I'll select the rectangular marquee tool, then go up to image, canvas size. I see that the image is 3,751 pixels wide. I'll change that to 4,500. Click OK. And now you can see that the canvas has widened. Now I'll use the rectangular marquee tool to go ahead and select part of the image that's blank. Right click, select content aware fill. And you see instantly it expands the background. Now I'll do the same thing to the other side. I wanna make sure that background is selected. Then select the blank part of the canvas. Right click, content aware fill. Click OK. I'll flatten the image here. And you'll see fairly quickly, we were able to get a smooth background. If I want to touch up part of it, I can select the patch tool, go in here, move that over, get rid of some of the repetitiveness here. All right, I like how that looks. Content aware fill is a powerful feature that Photoshop offers. There's a lot of different ways to use it. So I encourage you to explore those ways and see what works for you. If you got something out of this video, I'd appreciate if you'd consider subscribing to the channel and also dropping a like and comment below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.